because we have the next page. Uh, let's see. A cow is directly next to, uh, I think it's Matt. No, that's Matt. A uh, cow is directly next to the boy. The boy is above the cat. It helps to have a direct line. Because uh, here it tells you where they go. Uh, with a blue ho horizontal line, it says to the side of, directly next to, above, directly above. So pretty much all the direct co instructions are red. Uh, the general direction is blue. So here it says above in any direction, and that's three uh, vertical lines. To the side of, on any floor, that's three uh, horizontal lines. Well, in a fashion. <laughs> so, the pig is directly next to the chandelier, and it's also directly next to a knight in shining armor. Unfortunate, because it should be dented. Uh, the dog is directly below the boy. Okay, and let's see. The girl is can be on in, in any direction. Um, here let's have the cow here and here. Hmm. Trying to remember. Oh, hmm. This is interesting. All right. It's weird that it's saying that Kyler is next to. Kyler is next to the dog because here it says that Kyler is above the blonde girl. We can't say the blonde girl is Nancy because there's nothing personal as Nancy's on that doll. So, hmm. I cannot remember for the life of me. Does a cow have to directly be above anything? No. Uh, so let's have it. No, because the... Okay, so the dog has to be over here. Okay. So... Let's try this. Um, because apparently, I mean, I'm sticking with it. I still have to follow the directions. So it says that Kyler is right next to the cat. Uh, I keep forgetting that's a cat and this is a dog. Um, that should be right. Booyah! Awesome. All right, cool. So, uh, let's go ahead and talk to Kyler. You have a lead? Mostly I have a question. Do you know anything about this sketch? I found it outside. It looks like a drawing for some kind of housing development for the land the castle sits on. Apparently Kit did them. Did you ask him to? No. I bet not. And I seriously doubt Matt did either. Kit must have done those on his own. The question is, why? Probably just some doodling. Anyway, I thought of something else you can do for me. Since there's a possibility, however remote, that there are forces at work around here that none of us completely understands, huh? I think it only prudent to do what I can to counteract them. To that Probably end... Probably a, a good idea. I would like to include these herbs and flowers in my wedding bouquets. Booyah. According to Irish lore, each of them is believed to be associated with things I could use a little more of right now. 
If you could pick them for me and put them That's in that the vase over there, that would be wonderful. Here's a basket. Thank you. This, of course, means that in spite of whatever it was I saw in the nursery, I still believe there will indeed be a wedding. Because no matter who or what took Matt, you're going to find him, Nancy. I have to believe that. Please yep, don't let me down. you got that right. I'd better get to work. Keep me posted. Will do. And now that we have all the gears for this puzzle, I think we should go ahead and check it out. So, um, I think it's clear from looking at this design here on the board, we cannot have a repeat of the same gear next to each other. So, what that'd do... I mean, this is a really complicated puzzle, so we gotta make sure <laughs> that it goes to the right spots. Otherwise, it's not gonna look right. Of course, I could always fuddle them up. That works. There we go. Okay. There we go. Alright, which means I need to get this in three. Booyah! Did that just reset it? Gosh dang it! <laughs> Whoopsie daisy! Um. Frick, I forgot the solution I had. So this is kind of boring because <laughs> I'm basically doing this and you guys are like bored. <laughs> um, where is it? Here we go. Okay. Is it this one? I forgot which position it was in. No. It was closer. Oh. No, okay. And... There we go. No. There we go. Okay. There we go! Yay! Gosh, that was frustrating. Aw, it's another one! Alright, let's see if we can solve this one. Alright, so... Let's see. The dog is directly below, or sorry, the cat is directly below the boy. So where does the boy go? Um, it goes in the same line with these four, or with these three. What about the others, though? 
The pig has to be above a knight. Um, what about the others? Sheep. Woman. Woman has to be on the second floor. Okay. Because of this one right here. All right. Oh, whoops. Um, what's happening? There we go. All right. So woman has to be on the second floor. Uh, but according to this, the sheep. Oh, we don't have the sheep yet. Okay. So we can't do it just yet. <laughs> But we do need to talk to, um, oh, we do need to talk to Kit. I have yet to do a video where there's What's been going on? Of the characters, I mean. Um. I found the sketch you did on the ground outside. What's it for? What, that? I was just messing around. See, I'm into real estate, and whenever I see an interesting tract of land, I like to sketch out how I'd develop it. Just to, you know, keep the juices flowing. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. I was just doodling. Great, so it's okay if I keep this. Uh, sure. Go right ahead. Yeah, because I, I totally understand where you're going from with this, because I'm a writer. I need to make sure that I my, do, my imagination is still flowing, you know? I gotta make sure I'm writing something new. Have you ever been to the little hut that's in the middle of the bog? No. Don't tell me you've been traipsing through the bog. Are you nuts? That stuff's like quicksand. You just gotta watch your step. Well, if you go missing, at least we'll know where to look. Yeah. Good talking to you. Keep it real. That was pretty quick. All right, Um. so what do we have in our pockets? We have the baskets. We could go searching for the flowers. I do know where some of them are. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, actually. So, let's go over here, because I know one of them is in the garden. Um... Yep, we got the roses. Um, can we not grab this? Hmm. I know we can get one over here. Hi, well. Do 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 do. Here's one by the silo. Oops, didn't mean to call it that. They do kind of look like silo doors, though. A little. Alrighty, daddy. Uh, I think there was one at the bog, actually. I could be wrong. Let's check it out. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. There we go. Yep, I was right. Let's see which ones we have so far. We have three. The Fox Glove, Yarrow, and Rose. That must have been the Fox Glove that we picked up. Because the Yarrow is yellow. So we need Lavender, Larkspur, Vervain, and Sage. Alrighty, dighty. Um, I recall... There is one location I did not show you guys, and that was because I was just lazy. I didn't want to check it out. Uh, I should have, though, because it was right at the beginning of the game, or rather any time during the game, because it's right over here. There's another path we can go, and I believe we can go further, and there it is. Okay, so what was that one? That was Larkspur. That's pretty. I believe we gotta go back to the arch, because I believe there's one on there too. I don't remember where to find Vervain. 
bum bum ba da 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 da. Oh. Uh, where's the arch? Where's the arch? There we go. Na ah. Na maya he. Na maya ha. So that's lavender. Um. Where would I find Vervain? I can't quite remember. Nope, okay. Alright. I'm trying to remember. So, what else do we have? Lavender. Oh, then what was that? Oh, we picked up Vervain. Lavender and sage. Um, oh, I know where one is. It's over on the new prop, new uh, property we on the property that we found. Ah, yeah. Sometimes I, I can get stuck on there. It's kind of weird. Beep boo. There's that sound again. Okay, that's lavender. That I do recognize. Alright, so what's left is... The sage. I do not remember where to find the sage. Wait, yes I do! It's in the hut! Good grief. I knew I'd end up go be going back there for the one of the herbs. I am silly. Alright, so after that, I think it's time to be saying adieu, because it's getting pretty close to the end here. Uh, of my time, I mean. I gotta get something to eat before I do my next recording, so. Boop! Boop! And skidoosh! Sage looks like that. Okay. Wait, where can I find Moonwort? Comes up and frequently in the paddock grounds. Huh. And this is our sage. So let's see what our basket. Our basket is glitched. Whatever. So let's go ahead and put these flowers and herbs in the vase. Because if I remember correctly, she wanted the flowers to be flowers and herbs in a vase. Vase. What the value? What to call it? So, uh, I kind of want to talk about the next game we're going to play. Because, um. Those were just some sketches I made because I was bored. I do that all the time. I'm not after your property. Then what are you after? Nothing. Then why are you trying to tell me there's not going to be a wedding? Because Matt is gone. Matt would never walk out on me. Never. He still loves you, Kyler, but he's not ready to get married, and he just didn't know how to tell you. Oh, so he told you to tell me. Or was his leaving your idea? Hmm. What'd you tell him, Kit? That I still had feelings for you? That it isn't over between us? Because it is. You know that, don't you? It is most definitely over. Huh. You've always been good at skipping the night and going straight to the punchline, haven't you? You skip that. Matt was sick and tired when he couldn't plug in his toothbrush. He said if he'd known the place, he was going to be this primitive, he would have brought a generator. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'll only say nice, positive things from now on, okay? I can do that. I'm not very good at it, but I can do that. Matt has a pretty warped idea of marriage, you know. I don't know if you ever met his parents, but theirs was definitely not your boring, run-of-the-mill relationship. I wasn't saying he should tell you. I just wondered if he had. You don't have to worry. He didn't like her that much. She was nowhere as classy as you. Fat chance of that around here. There's like what? One and a half electrical outlets per room? You skipped that. Matt was fit to be tired when he couldn't plug in his toothbrush. He said if he'd known the place was going to be this primitive, it would have brought a generator. Of course not. We both know that's impossible, and we don't we? It's just so hard to ignore the fact that practically every day since we met, Matt has played some kind of trick on me. He says I'm too uptight, and that I ask for it. It's just one of my many not-so-admirable qualities. 
And I wouldn't exactly call it a punchline, not in this case. But I swear, it may not look like it or feel like it, but I'm trying to do you a favor. Alright, I could listen to more, but I think I've been listening a little too much and or not listening too much. I've been kind of dragging it out. Um, so that was an interesting conversation. And it, we kind of learned... Well, you guys probably don't quite understand what's going on. I, In my opinion, and it's probably true, in my opinion, I think Kit still loves Kyler. And I think he still kind of wants that relationship back. That kind of relationship but he knows that it won't happen, and so he's trying to break up the couple so that it, so that she won't have the happy ending that he wants. And, yeah, I'm getting psychological on this. <laughs> but it's just really interesting because, like, he so desperately wants to have the happy ending that she is getting. And it's, I think it's frustrating him because... He still loves her. And he has his own commitment issues and whatnot, considering what we just heard. And if you have really good headphones, you can probably understand what they're saying in the muffled part. Um, and I kind of had I kind of have good earphones, so I understood a little bit of what was going on. Uh I'd have to listen to it one more time just to basically understand what they were saying. But uh it was actually a really good conversation because it helped me realize a little more uh, than before uh, of Kit. And especially Kyler. Because, man, she's got some oomph. <laughs> so, everyone, um, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to talk about the next game. I'll probably do that in the next recording because I love this game. I want you guys to know what's going on. And I want you guys to, to know what's going on with the next game of Nancy Drew that I'm going to be playing. Because... Um, well, I'll explain in the next video. <laughs> so I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Rescue Rabbit, saying goodbye. Stay awesome and stay on YouTube! Jeez, look at that space that I have for recording time. I deleted a whole bunch of stuff off my computer to make more space for the recordings and videos and stuff. I deleted a bunch. Thank goodness to my ex new external hard drive. Yeah, I've gotten a bunch of new stuff. Some of them gifts. <laughs>